uh, for Accenture as well as Cognizant, you have HTML, CSS, JavaScript to be done. A set of questions they are asking, right? So don't worry too much regarding that because if you see the question right now, for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, they are already given the code. You need to add one or two lines only. And that too, don't worry too much because let's see this here objective. Add a span element with class SR only and add and text roll the dice inside the roll button. That you need to do. And what is the other task is set the border radius of the display, dice display to 8 pixel. Complete the get random function to return a random number between 1 and 6. These three tasks you need to do, no? One you should do in HTML, one should be done in CSS, one should be done in JavaScript. That's it, it will be complete. Now, you, you may have doubts, sir, in this entire code HTML, where I have to add. <clears throat> if you see here in 20th line, they already mentioned, add a span with class SR only and text roll the dice. So then above or below that, you can add. So this is what now, span class is added. SR only, roll the dice, span classes, that is closed. We added, no? So that first objective is completed. That's it, that's the only line. There is already remaining all are available. You had to add only that line. Next, what about next one? You need to go for border radius to be, uh, yeah, so this, this get random. I'm doing that in JavaScript. Here they mentioned, you see this 11th line. They're giving the clue. To do return a random number between 1 and 6, you are adding only this line. Return math.floor math.random into 6 plus 1. So up to 6, you need to generate the random numbers from 1 to 6. That's what you can see here. This is the only line you are adding. You are not writing the entire JavaScript. It will take hardly 10 minutes to complete this all the three at a time. HTML, CSS, JavaScript all. Now, your get random task is completed. Your SR only span rolling the dice is completed. Next task is only to do the border, right? Border radius you need to set to ERC. Here also you see the 41 line in CSS. Okay, you see the 41 line. You have to set the border radius to 8. They are given above that itself. They are given a comment. Use it. And you just added border radius. You had maintained the display as 8 pixel. That's it. And then in the bottom, no? Okay. Uh, here, here you have result control. Below you have some... Page. Let's say if it is random one, you have to click random color, you have to click on that, the color should change randomly. And if there is any errors, you can go and go for the console. You can clear it here, right side refresh is there, the setting button is there, you can clear the errors and refresh and then again you can try that, whether this is working or not. Here in this bottom right, this place, what I am using cursor now, that place you have that web page entire. Initially it will not work what you decide. Then you have to click on it and change it. Here also you have to add class new to second button and you need to create a toggle and you need to change the color, right? So here, enabling the first button and second when the second button is clicked. This task is second one that is done in JavaScript here for this question. And you can see here, here border color should be, you have changed the color, disable start button to X value, hash CCCC, this what? Here the background color you are changing. Okay. Hash CCC, you can observe that all. Okay, they are giving that to do where you have to do all they are mentioning. Here also you can observe, add the class to the enable button. You have to add class new to second button. No, they are mentioning here. They are giving the comment. So use it properly, you can do that. Don't worry. Yeah, you can crack the things, whether it is uh, Accenture related CTA, uh, the CSS, HTML, JavaScript or whether it is uh, uh, cognizant, both have similar questions, you can do it, right? Okay, front-end related stuff, thank you.